Hello there, YouTube. Welcome to On The Ground. So, I guess I'm gonna have to wait until later to finish the brakes on the Honda 4 Trash 300 and a number of other things. I got word of that part and I installed the handbrake cable and I got the foot pedal off, but I need to, um, order another foot peg or foot pedal for the foot brake but uh, bow season's coming up and i gotta get ready for that and where it's the busy season i'm working full schedule 12 hours or more um i just have to prioritize in its own season and i haven't even chopped my bow yet so we're gonna go from fixing my four wheeler have to postpone that till later to uh the bow hunting so i'll see you here again on on the ground so i'm going to show you what i uh did with the foot brake pe pedal forgive me i'm a little sick today anyways uh since i didn't include this and i'm about to wrap up my repair on my uh four wheeler probably for a little while because of hunting season um here's uh here's the foot pedal this is the foot pedal I took off. There was a there was a seal here, and there's a seal, rubber seal there. Uh, because it's been on there so long, I just took a a, a pick, what do you call it? I can't think of it, and pulled them. Uh, it's for uh, pouring pulling seals out. But anyways, um, I pulled them out of there. But uh, this piece didn't come off with the foot pedal. And if you look at new foot pedals or other ones, this part is inside. So this part, I think, is kind of stuck on there. I don't know what you call that. But uh, it doesn't allow for the pedal to uh, rotate on there like it's supposed to. So that was creating some uh, additional friction for the foot pedal, which is why it didn't function fluidly. Fluidly. Ugh, fluidly. And if you look here, um, of course it the the brakes off. But this is the the handbrake cable. I went ahead and uh, ran that through there. And really, all you do if you don't know how is just you know pull the old one out, pull the new put, pull the new one in, and it just comes right up through the seat here, all the way up to the handlebars and right here now due to the way it's designed this part was a little frustrating here because on this part here because of this uh, this part right here and this rubber piece that was a frustration getting that over which not too complicated but that's what you do and then up underneath here similar to the way the if I can get it to focus here. Um, hold on a second. Right here. But right there you can see. Uh, actually, that's the reverse. Uh, hold on. It's right here, actually. Not bad. Uh, yeah, it's right there. Um and you can see it right there so anyways i'm a little sick so forgive me well easy this way so i replaced the choke cable i showed that in an earlier video replaced the the rear brake foot uh hand brake cable and uh this is a reverse assist cable i don't really plan on replacing that i also replaced the uh, the choke cable here I need to do some adjusting on it. It's not quite as it's supposed to, but I took this off, replaced the spring. It's not complicated. Uh, I might take it apart later if I can squeeze some time in and show you just how it works. It's not complicated. There's a little spring that's what allows for that to return back to its uh, original position. But, uh, and then you got your throttle adjustment here. But I need to work on this. I just, it was getting dark, so 
Um, it's getting dark, so I just went ahead and kind of threw it on there. I don't know if you can, I know you can't see it. But, yeah, if you look right there, that clean looking cable, that's a handbrake cable. There's just a place where you route your wires. There's, you know, that's all you gotta do with that. Cable management is what some people might refer to it as. Anyways, so that's that for now. Um, uh, I don't know that I'm going to finish this uh, before hunting season um, because due to the fact that I need to order this back plate, and uh, that would take a couple weeks, I think, from where I'm ordering it from. It's from Australia, uh, and I kind of want to focus it on uh, hunting. So, um, I may, this may be it for this till after winter. I don't know. I might try to get back out here. We'll just see. We'll see. Maybe in November if I go hunting at the end of October. We'll see. But I also want to work on the rear shocks here. And the front shocks. I got some tie rod ends. True place still yet and the ball joints and front brakes gotta work on them so suspension uh, the steering components the suspension the steering components uh, the front brakes the shocks um, so we get that much done and get some more bolts for the, the fenders i gotta get a either a new rear rack i mean a used good used one or something and this bar down here this support bar for the racks since the bolts are stuck in it i ordered one but it's gonna be who knows how long but uh that's just an update uh oh i'm gonna replace the steering bushing here i got that already and then there's a a radial bearing in the steering shaft right here right here and um, I'm gonna replace that too so. anyways so oh and I gotta replace the gasket here and the new petcock valve so those are the <clears throat> next things so we'll get all the mechanical functioning so it'll stop and handle properly uh, we may go in and replace the timing chain and the guides and new gaskets and maybe even new piston rings uh, wider and clean kind of do the engine overhaul maybe we'll see uh, I may pursue getting a new machine I don't know but uh, I'm gonna get this one fixed I got new grips I may put new seat on it you know but uh, for now that's it's kind of uh kind of kind of done with that for now it's starting to turn the leaves are starting to turn a little bit so you know if you see over there <laughs> so it's about time to get ready for hunting so well that concludes it on uh this episode on the ground and the project for now so um if you were following about the rear drum brakes um all I'm doing, like I said, was rebuilding this. There's other videos on YouTube. This is just my approach to it. And if you're following my channel, you can watch. And that way, if there's anything that someone else didn't point out, I may point out. I've noticed that I'm watching how-to videos and people doing it, you know. I know sometimes I seem to be rambling on, but this ain't a straight to the point explanation video. There's already plenty of those out there. But, uh, oh, I want to point this out. When you, if you do go to replace the throttle cable, um, inside here, that spring can be a little tricky. You just be patient, um, with that. Make sure you adjust this right. Uh, if you're having issues with the, the, a choke, an old choke on the carburetor, probably best just to get you a new, uh, choke cable. Because I dealt with that. That, the, the part that, that goes at the end of the uh, choke cable 
uh, into the carburetor and that was frustrating so that was a difficult part other than that it's pretty straightforward on on, on all the cables really um, and if you're having issues with the the pedal uh, it will come off there there's a cotter pin here and that was a pain to get off of there uh, I don't know what that parts do. <laughs> oh here's one of the seals actually it's in there but uh, there's a couple of them I ripped one off and got the other one off anyways um, yeah it'll come off it, it was very difficult to get it off but it, it, it comes off it's supposed to come off but it was just kind of this part like I said it, it didn't want to come off so I still gotta get that off if I put a new one or a new used good used one on it one it will actually uh, move more fluidly and most of the tension will be held back by the the cable yeah I take the cable off I think but uh, got a new one of them let's see is there anything else all oh, front wheel bearings uh, I may put some rear rear bearings and grease up the axles and stuff later too um, so those will probably be things in the future that I, I do like I said I really like these 300s this one uh, needs good cleaning if I get a garage or something this winter then we may finish it this winter but uh, for now that's that's going to wrap it up on the Honda 300 uh, thanks for watching subscribe and uh, we'll go into hunting mode <laughs> we'll start doing that again all right i'll see you again here next time on on the ground